Yes, good morning and welcome. This is indeed Pop Breakfast right here on Citizen TV and it's time for us to look at the headlines this morning. And to help us do that, we have MP uh, Chris Omalwa, that's the MP for Kiminini on my extreme left. And next to him, we have Joe Mutambu, MP Mungi Central. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Of course, uh, today the headlines are laden with enough politics. Uh, of course, uh, some political brawls here and there at a very high level, of course. They're uh, making big headlines again, once again. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has to do with the president and his spot with the governor of Mombasa. That story has continued. Uh, since last week, uh, we've been talking about the president's temperament. Now we're seeing it taking different shapes and forms as we move along. That's one of the biggest headlines today. But also, the doctor's strike. Today's day 100. That should uh, mean something. Yeah. Day 100, mm -hmm. since the doctors downed their tools. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, the court gave them 24 hours. They're supposed to, to agree on a return to work uh, deal uh, with, the, uh, with the governors and the government. Uh, Ministry of Health officials, but we do understand uh, since the president uh, said uh, that uh, the government had withdrawn from the talks completely, that puts even the Ministry of Health officials uh, at a tight corner because they cannot take part uh, in that process because their boss has said he is not part of it. So, yes, we do have to wait until 9 a.m. today to learn what will happen, but good news lecturers have called off their strike. And that's on the back page of the Daily Nation. Lecturers call off strike after pay deal. Now, the new uh, pact ends 54-day boycott that had paralyzed learning in all public universities, meaning all university students can now return to class or to lecture halls this morning. At least some good news. And uh, probably uh, we'll be looking at uh, this other headline in a short while as well, NASA's options. Uh, they have a meeting today, and that's uh, the team that was uh, uh, tasked... That's the National Super Alliance Technical Committee tasked with picking a joint presidential candidate is today expected to hold a meeting and recommend that the process should be subjected to a popular vote by supporters. This would involve party primaries as happens in the United States. Now, if that happens, what does it mean? What are the consequences? Remember, only last week, or yes, only last week there was a poll that... Uh, surveyed the popularity of all the four uh, NASA principles. So does it mean that we go with that? Of course, some of the principles have uh, rubbished that polls, and we do have that on the papers today as well. We'll be looking at that in a short while. Of course, why party shenanigans, uh, the chairman and Johnson Mudama have said that there will be no direct tickets. Where does that put Governor uh, Kibura Kibwana? Yes. He has a deal with Wiper. Let's start off now with the lecturer's strike because uh, at least that's a good news this morning. Lecturers are back, but doctors are not. What are we done? Yeah, I, I think it's a good sign of uh, relief. Uh, allow me to thank the lecturers. You know, every uh, profession online has uh, their way of negotiating. Mm -hmm. And if you get a deal and you feel that deal is efficient enough, I think it's only fair. We are not saying that people should not demand mm -hmm. their rights. Everyone has a right to demand whatever due or whatever the, uh, is due to them. Yes. And uh, it has to be reasonable. And I want to believe the lecturers so saw whatever offer they are getting is reasonable to them. Yes. And that's why they tend to work. Yes. And, um, I am deeply saddened by what doctors uh, are doing. Uh, if I were, I was the one at the seat, I'll tell you not even to negotiate with the doctors. I will simply fire them. Really? Because it's just a simple thing. Mm -hmm. You do not want what is on the table. Mm -hmm. Just proceed, go home, mm -hmm. look somewhere else, mm -hmm. right? And let anybody who want to work, work. But the moment we stand at that tight corner and say, we are not going to relent, we are not going to give in, our demands. If you are not giving us this, it is this or nothing. Then let the nothing be. Mm -hmm. And that nothing is you, I mean, either resigning and quitting. Well, well, at, at least uh, uh, watching the court process yesterday, uh, the feeling is that they are very close to a deal. It's just a matter of signing the return to work deal. Uh, because when it was presented by the doctors in court, the COG and their lawyer said they needed to study the document mm. before it was signed. Uh, 
probably they could agree and by 9 a.m. today probably there could be something positive from there. Uh, but uh, on the lecturer strike I can see uh, even the deal that, that has been struck, the new salary structure is there on the back page of the Daily Nation and uh, this is a kind of openness uh, now we are seeing that uh, yes this is what they were demanding, this is what they've got. Bonomalo. Uh, I don't think uh, the lecturers have gotten what they are uh, demanding. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to confirm that I was a lecturer before, before I entered into politics, and it is uh, it's just because of the human face the lecturers are putting on. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to bring this country into chaos, and they said, no, let's get whatever is there, maybe hoping future it has to be reviewed. Mm -hmm. When you go to many other jurisdictions, you find the uh, lecturers are well remunerated. These mm -hmm. are the people who dispense knowledge. These people who teach everybody, you know. And uh, the core business of a university is actually to, to do research, you know, teaching, research. In this country, you find uh, universities are not well funded to enable them to do research. Mm -hmm. I was in the U.S. I was invited and I was in uh, Harvard University you find professors have been involved outside in doing research and they come and present a paper which uh, whose recommendations are actually adopted by the government mm -hmm. in terms of implementation so really that is what lecturers are supposed to be doing but when it comes to our locals here you find that uh, because of the limited funding you find a lecturer jumping from one university to another mm -hmm. so that he can be able to get some money which will sustain him mm -hmm. that tells you whatever the lecturers are being paid actually does not commiserate in what they are doing. So it is actually the government that should look into the welfare of the lecturers. Mm -hmm. They didn't get what they wanted. Okay, because yeah, you can this see is a just uh, a look a at a professor earning 211,000. I mean, now coming to 248. Yeah, 000. 248. Mm -hmm. That increment is, uh, is statistically insignificant. Mm -hmm. It is totally negligible. Mm -hmm. Look at the lecturer. Somebody who has gone to school, has studied with several degrees, coming to earn uh, 53,000 53, now, mm -hmm. 55,000, this is a mere salary of uh, an office messenger or, 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 or a secretary in an office. Mm -hmm. This is abuse. Mm -hmm. This is not the proper pay that lecturers should be paid. Mm -hmm. This is a wake-up call to the government that in future we must look for a way of uh, compensating these lecturers properly. Some of them actually are even moving, going out of uh, the country. Mm -hmm. Or instead of doing research, they're moving from one university to another university for purposes of increasing their income so that they can be able to sustain themselves. Okay. Now coming back to the doctor strike, I want to disagree with my friend here. You can't just wake up and say, I'll sack the doctors, mm -hmm. unless you, you don't stay in this country, Kenya. Uh, we have uh, very limited uh, uh, doctors in this country. As per the WHO recommendations, the doctors we have, they're not even enough. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, just coming up and saying we're going to sack them, that's not a good idea. In terms of negotiations, when you come to negotiating table, it must be a win-win situation on both parties, you know, and it is a give and take. Mm -hmm. These lecturers, they had a CBA, and the 300% increment, this was agreed with the previous government. So the government that comes in has to, has a responsibility of implementing that. Mm -hmm. So what they're supposed to have done, I think when the, and I want to thank the religious leaders who came in to sort out this issue. And uh, I'm privy to, to info that uh, they were actually almost finalizing the deal. Yes. They had reached about 95%. Uh, mm -hmm. We were shocked. Personally, I was also very shocked because uh, we were consulting and we were in discussions, particularly with the Catholic uh, bishops, because I happened to have been in that mm -hmm. meeting, and they were heavily involved. And even yesterday when we shared during the, when we were celebrating the uh, Pope Francis' uh, fourth, uh, fourth year of uh, in election, mm -hmm. uh, we had a discussion and uh, it, was, it was being prayed that we wish the government and the council of governors could agree so that the religious leaders, the inter intervention they had done, so they can finalize a deal mm -hmm. and be able to agree. So if a doctor is returning back, you are returning back under what framework, what circumstances, yes. what formula is there? Uh, let, 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 dangerous. Let's remove the government from this because the president has already said he will not be part of it and therefore we do not even expect the CS or the PS to be part of that negotiation. But some of the contentious uh, issues that Before that, the president cannot run away from this. We've always said this. Yes. You see, this narrative of saying that you live with the county, go uh, the governors, no. When it comes to health, it's devolved, but when it comes to matters of policy, 
are still the national government. Do, do we if really you look at the referral, if you go back and no, 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 no. He's the head of the state. He's the head of no, the state. He no. must give a goodwill. The mm. goodwill must be there. The PS must be there. The CS must be there. Well, you know, absolutely. Let, let me, let me, uh, my my good friend here. He has a lot of emotions. I don't have emotions. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> actually, unless, unless he surprises it, it me. Is, it is an emotional well, issue. It, 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 he it surprises emotive. me when he says that they had a CBA. Mm -hmm. Right? What is being challenged today is the legality of that CBA. Mm -hmm. And the question is who signed that CBA? Mm -hmm. And at what point was it signed? Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the whole thing. So, a judge will not commit you to jail. Well, they are in the bar, mm -hmm. or I mean, uh, in a club somewhere. Okay, they must be sitting somewhere at a particular time when they are working, mm -hmm. right? So this person who signed the CBA had already left the office. So he had no mandate. Mm -hmm. He had no local standard mm -hmm. to was, sign the was just a minute, and that's why it's being challenged, mm -hmm. and that's why actually it cannot be implemented. Then in number two, all right, he is seated here, and he knows very well that during last. Um, last uh, parliament, MPs used to walk around with their checkbooks in their uh, in their pocket, and they could go to any school and write uh, a check. Mm -hmm. Today we can't do that. Why? Because the law has changed. Mm -hmm. Before we used to handle water, sur I mean uh, services. We used to do to do some roads. We used to do uh, I mean health uh, services. Today we can't do them. Why? Because they are devolved. Mm -hmm. Actually, even the governors went to play, yeah. I mean, even the governors went to court, mm -hmm. and they said anything which has been devolved, let it be handled by the counties. Mm -hmm. Now today, the doctors who are supposed to be dealing with the counties. Right? They now have to come back and say, no, 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 no. We don't want to. Are, you, are you saying it's right for the president and the, and the national government to pull out of these negotiations completely? You see, if you are dealing with a county, right, mm -hmm. at that level, deal with your county because now your employer is the county. Okay. No, okay. Okay. No, okay. No, you, know, you know, you know, it's very dangerous to have somebody like uh, my friend uh, Joe to me. No, no, actually, it's really dangerous to have somebody like you. The public. <laughs> <laughs> because it's misleading the public once he's saying mm -hmm. that the MPs used to walk around with a check and resign. That is completely misleading. Because when you look at the CDF, you know, he just joined the politics yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, jo but I'm a knowledgeable <laughs> person. <laughs> you know, so maybe he's not knowledgeable. No, about you are this gentlemen, I want to <laughs> you are I know, I know, I know, I know there are issues about. Uh, you may disagree about how CDF was handled, but now. Uh, I need us to look at this uh, okay. issue with the doctor strike and what the, uh, is, re is probably contentious in the return to work deal. And that, page, uh, that story is on page two of uh, the Daily Nation. Medics purge private practice clause. Now public service doctors have removed a contentious clause barring them from private practice in a document filed in court yesterday. The doctor's version of the return to work formula struck off the clause which reads, and I quote, all medical doctors, pharmacists and dentists shall strictly adhere to their terms of employment in regard to engaging directly or indirectly in any other gainful employment and or private practice as a partner, employee, consultant, director, manager, agent, associate or otherwise. Now they also want the government to be compelled uh, by law to pay them the three month salary and arrears since December 5th last year when they went on strike. Now that issue of uh, private practice. Yes. that. Uh, if at all they could be bad, and I'm sure that must be a problem. The same way you were saying lecturers now, uh, because of what they're paid, they are forced to move from one private practice to another. The doctors, as it is right now, they're negotiating a return to work deal without the, de the initial demands being met, the ones that had been captured probably in that CBA that was declared illegal. So they're going back to work, not necessarily because they got what they were demanding for, mm -hmm. but just because they're saying, okay, fine, let's just go back to work. Is it right to block them? from actually engaging in other gainful employment, uh, 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 running their own private practice? Uh, I, I, I think, from where I see it, the, the question is, what are you asking? Are you asking payment for full payment, I mean, uh, uh, employment, or are you asking salary for part payment? Mm -hmm. If you are asking for full payment, then we go back to and ask ourselves, what is the full services? Mm -hmm. Wh what services would you offer? And how many hours do you want to work? Right? Because there must be terms. Right? 
There must be terms so of reference. So you think they should be barred so, from private so practice? If the terms, if the, the, the dictate that you are going to work for eight hours, then you come and ask yourself, at what time will you go and work on a private sector? Mm -hmm. But if you are, I mean, you are negotiating for the, for the only services you are offering, it doesn't matter the timing, mm -hmm. then there is, of course, the, the, they have a file it and to pour point. But you, know, when, you, you when, can argue. When it, when it comes to doctors, it's not easy to restrict them to, the, to an 8 to 5 uh, uh, job because they work sometimes even overnight. Uh, is, is it think, right I to buy them from private? And the question I, I is now, uh, at what, you, you see, you have to be at a certain place at a certain time. Mm -hmm. This is what you're talking about. Is that what you're arguing for? Mm -hmm. Now, let me, let me respond to this. I think uh, the doctors here are right. You cannot say they cannot involve themselves maybe in uh, private practice. When you get unemployment, you have a letter of appointment. Mm -hmm. On your letter of appointment, the terms are very clear. For instance, like yourself, you are supposed to be working maybe six or eight hours per mm -hmm. day, s specifying from what particular time. Mm -hmm. You know, like a doctor, you work around the clock. Anything might happen midnight, mm -hmm. it can happen morning, it's just like a pilot. So th normally they work in series, they, they work in shifts. So, so long as you are not interfering with that specific man hours, whatever you are involving yourself in, in these other hours, it is okay. Yes. Yeah, you might be involved in family matters. You might be involved in, uh, you can go to somewhere as a consultant, maybe another practice. It doesn't matter. So long as it is not interfering with the hours that your employer wants. Mm -hmm. And I think the doctors here, they are completely in order by, by removing this particular clause. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell uh, a doctor that uh, after you've done your, maybe let's say eight hours from eight to five in Kenyatta Hospital, whatever you do later, has mm -hmm. no business mm -hmm. with whatever is going on. So long as it's not interfering, yes. you can be able to leave and you go somewhere in another, let's say in another clinic somewhere, uh, you go do an operation or a cesarean, whatever it is, so long as it does not interfere with your work. Okay. And I think it's completely in order, so this clause should be removed. Okay. So that whatever you do, we have freedom of association, I mean, you, whatever you associate with in your own free time, it has nothing to do with this. Okay. The same way you are here, I, I maybe after so. this, you are outside somebody consulting you on matters of uh, matters of uh, of the media. I mean, I don't think royal media will poke its nose to know what are you doing. <laughs> maybe later in the night or whatever it is. So long as you report here from mm -hmm. six or from five, maybe up to ten or up to eleven. Mm -hmm. I think that is in order. Okay. Yeah. I think I've heard something sensible from him mm -hmm. at least mm -hmm. because uh, <laughs> he has elaborated very well. Mm -hmm. If it does not interfere. Yes with your terms of reference, mm -hmm. then that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But if it does interfere with your terms of reference, then it does not make sense. So, so that's we, the point we do, hope, we do hope then that this is, will not uh, create a problem because probably they, this is their version, the doctor's version of the return to work deal. I think what had been offered by the COG had that clause included. And mm. hopefully that is not what they will disagree on mm. when they, mm. uh, the matter comes up uh, today. Yes. Mm. Of course, uh, the doctor's strike is on its 100th day today. And uh, today we're hoping that there will be uh, at least some light at the end of the tunnel with the signing Maybe. of the return to work deal. But we just have to wait and see Maybe. what happens. Maybe before we finish on the matters mm -hmm. of the doctors, my humble request is, uh, is Excellency the President. I wish they had given a chance to the church after they had tried to do the, the, the intervention mm -hmm. because I know they had finalized about 95% so they can be able to conclude this matter yes. so that you don't force somebody back to work. You should not work under duress so that these people get motivated when they get back to work and there's a clear framework, the clear return to work formula. Yes. So I'm requesting His Excellency the President is the CEO, he cannot run away from this. We have Kenyatta Hospital, teach Moi Teaching Referral Hospital, they are under the national government. Yes. So it's only about 70% under the COG, but the remaining 30% and policy when it comes to healthcare is still under the Ministry of Health at the national level. Okay. So my humble request is let it be a win-win for both parties, let them go back negotiate table, conclude this matter and be able to go back to the Court of Appeal today yes. before 10 o'clock. We do hope we'll get an answer later this morning, but that we we'll just have to wait. For now, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll discuss the politics of the day. Uh, Uhuru versus Governor 001. It's a dangerous